We wanted to let everyone at home know that we were in Puerto Rico over the weekend when the shooting broke out here in Las Vegas. And before we left to come here, we had gone to a neighborhood just a short drive from where the president was today. Nearly two weeks after the hurricane, we discovered families in sweltering heat, no power, no running water, and a call for help. We went looking for an apartment building just 15 minutes from the airport in San Juan. Buenas tardes. Because we had heard that nearly two weeks after the hurricane hit, they were still without power and without running water. We walk up this darkened stairwell and down the hallway. Lisbeth? Hola. Lisbeth Vasquez Delgado lives in New York City, but she is here taking care of her parents. The president had tweeted just days ago, all buildings now inspected. And we wondered, have they seen any emergency officials or any members of the government here? We had heard that inspectors had been visiting some of these buildings all over Puerto Rico. Have you seen any inspectors? No, not at all. They have not come to see what has happened to these apartments. Not, no one has come? No one has come. And how much food and water have they brought? None. Nothing? None at all. And with no power, no clean drinking water. Can you drink the water? No, we cannot at all. Inside her parents' tiny apartment, their windows still blown out by Hurricane Maria. And in the bedroom, her parents, Elmer and Gloria, on the bed, in need of medication. This was the first day any doctor had paid a visit. Uh, primer dia. Yeah, primer dia, yeah. This is the first medicine? This is the first medicine. And it's Motrin. I had a piece of bread, half of bread, and I shared it with like four apartments. Down the hallway, we see other residents, some carrying flashlights. And we head into one of those apartments where we meet a woman Lisbeth has been sharing her bread and water with. Maria Diaz is 70, and she tells us she's been drinking the water from the faucet, even though she knows it's not safe. She holds an empty bottle of water, telling us it cost $6. With little food and no clean water, she is panic-stricken, telling me, I don't want to die here. In so many of these apartment buildings, they are unaware of the FEMA help because they have no power, no access to the news. And tonight, just 7% of the island has power back. This building does not. A generator is turned on a couple of hours a night. And we walk up the stairs knowing there are 13 stories in this building. Como estas? Bien. Bien? Bien, ch bien chava, porque no hemos comido. No comido. Again, they tell us Nada. no food. Down the hall, you can see the destruction through the window. We step over a doorway blown in by the hurricane. Floor after floor, we hear the Almost same concerns. Us. Well, back down on the fourth floor, Lisbeth, sharing what little bread she has and a slice of cheese with her neighbor. And I'm not only asking for my house. There's a lot of people here that don't have family. And we check back in with them this afternoon. They are still asking for help tonight. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.